So I'm here at South by Southwest where I walked upon probably one of the most amazing discoveries definitely of 2012, which is the Bolex digital camera. Now I'm incredibly excited. I'm, I'm here with Joe, sort of like the one of the creators of this camera, sort of like the brainstorm behind the whole thing. Um, in, in summary, I'm gonna give across my version of it first. Um, we've been waiting for a long time, ever since Red first announced the fact that we're gonna have the Scarlet, which was gonna be 3K for 3K. And then when the camera came out at being 15,000, I was you know, incredibly disappointed at the fact that A, I wouldn't be able to get one, and B, obviously just how great it was and how much I wanted one. And then you've gone ahead and pretty much done that, right? Um, Joe, tell us about your camera. Uh, our camera is gonna shoot uh, 24 frames a second in Adobe Cinema DNG, raw format, at 2K resolution, for $3,299. That's incredible. That means the independent filmmakers all over the world are gonna be able to get hold of a 2K camera for a little more than sort of like a very basic level, entry level handy cam. It sells le for less than the 5D Mark III. I mean, this is, this is basically, so obviously, you know, it's gonna be terrible because you're not gonna put any audio on it, right? That's how you're gonna <laughs> upset everybody. No, of course. We're gonna have balanced XLR stereo inputs, uh, so you have audio in as, as well. This, this is awesome. I remember, and I'm sure like there's gonna be loads of other filmmakers watching this that are gonna be thinking, we all thought years ago, man, why doesn't somebody just make you know a really good camera that has a great sensor in it and it's got like high quality and really good audio inputs at 24 frames a second. That's what we've always wanted for a long time and, and you've done it. Yeah. Um, so some of the questions that people are gonna have, of course, is what kind of sensor do you have inside the camera? It's a super 16 millimeter sized Kodak sensor, CCD. So no rolling shutter and much more naturalistic colors. Also, and it's 444, right? 444 12-bit color. That's that's absolutely incredible. And then the uh, the lenses on the front, um, it comes standard as the PL now, right? But there's gonna be a base plate that changes similar to the Scarlet and the Epic. Right. So you can change the lens mount. It comes with a C mount actually. Okay. Yeah. Um, but you get a PL mount, EF mount, M mount, V4 mount, and maybe Nikon. Mount. Cool. So with the SEMA, people are going to have to use all their old lenses that may be sitting up on their shelf for a really long time. To get yeah. The cameras. A lot of the 16 millimeter glass that was built in the 60s and 70s is a lot better than the glass that they make today. It's sharper, it's faster, it's nicer look glass. And yeah, all those lenses, uh, those Cook lenses and things, um, a lot of them are sitting by the sidelines right now because there isn't a good camera that uses them. That's absolutely awesome. Um, if you wouldn't mind just planning a bit, so this is actually the prototype of the camera, right? This is sort of like this what you it. guys have built so far. And then this is the, um, it's like the hand prototype model that uh, they've put together, which uh, as you can see, it's sort of like got the old design, but this isn't actually gonna be what the finished one looks like. Is that correct? It's gonna look like a cross between this one and this one. It'll be a metal body with the black exterior and uh, silver trim like this camera. Awesome. But it'll be in the shape of this one. Absolutely brilliant. Awesome. So now, um, when obviously people are going to be wondering, when are people going to be able to get their hands on this thing? When are they going to actually be able to hold one? We're selling the first hundred cameras on Kickstarter uh, for twenty five hundred, and that's up now. Um, once that's passed, uh, it will be October at thirty two ninety nine. That's awesome. Now, um, just to, to give you another overnight success story, I found these guys like yesterday lunchtime. I was walking through. I was like, man, I've got to get hold of one of these things. They launched the Kickstarter campaign a few hours after I met them. I actually bought the first one because I was that desperate to get hold of one. And you've already completed the Kickstarter campaign. That's right. You've, they've literally already completed their funding in less than 24 hours. That's how fast these things are selling. So if by the time you watch this, they've still got any available, you are going to want to get one because after that, you're going to have to wait till October and you're going to have to pay the full price, which is still cheap. But of course, you don't get hold of that discount. Um, final question, just uh, another thing I know that people are going to be wondering about. Um, you've got that handle at the bottom, which obviously is removable. Yeah. But what are you recording onto? Is it like S uh, SD cards or what are you using for recording? There's an internal SSD drive that will buffer to dual CF cards. So you plug in two CF cards and they're good to go. Awesome. And how much time, total recording time, you can be able to get those two cards? Uh, depends on the size of the card. It basically runs four gigs a minute. So if you have a 16 gig card, two of them, is, you know, four minutes per card, eight minutes. Or if you go up to 64 gig cards um, and you do two of them, you can do 32 minutes. That's absolutely great. And then what I'm gonna do is underneath here, if you wanna see what the footage looks like, then I'm gonna include a link uh, at the below underneath this video, so you can go and check that out on the homepage. So, perfect, awesome. Thanks so much, Joe. Definitely, thank Pleasure. you. Cheers.